Hi Speechies, it's Lisa and welcome back to Speech Fairies. So I found this game at Value Village. I paid $2.99 for it. It's, I've never seen it before so I was super excited. It's called Who's Behind the Door from Monsters University and who can resist a title with a preposition right in the title. It's by Spin Master. It's rated for children six and up. It comes with this game board and this partition here and this door mechanism and it comes with 16 cards that match the characters on the board. It's missing one card. So I think I can easily replace her by finding a picture on the internet and trying to make it the same size card here. It also comes with all these little chips, these little markers. And I believe it's missing maybe four or five markers like that. So basically it's just a game of guess who, but with monsters. But the nice thing I liked about it was that most kids won't know this vocabulary. They won't know the characters' names. The only ones I knew were Sully and Mike, and they might know those, but I don't think they'll know any of the other ones. And as you know, I do work with preschoolers, so they're very unlikely to know any of these characters, which is a good thing if I want them to do, use some of their describing skills. They've got lots of funny features. There's lots of opportunities for describing here. There's opportunities for plurals, number of eyes, horns, letters on their shirt, hair, teeth, glasses. It's good for asking questions and answering questions. It's for yes, no, but I liked it for describing. As well, we have the awesome door here for targeting in front and behind. So even if you didn't want to use it like a describing game, you could and still use the mechanism here. So the idea is you take a card, each player puts it on the back of the door, behind the door, and the other person has to guess which character is yours by process of elimination, just like the regular guess who. But I was thinking I might not even use these kinds of these cards. I could use anything I wanted to. You don't even need this part of the board if you wanted to just work on the preposition. So I'm going to put the board away and show you how awesome this could be. So this looks like a little bedroom scene and this looks like more like the factory kind of monster town side. But you could use any side that they were interested in. You don't have to tell them it's from Monsters Inc. Especially with my preschoolers, they might not like the idea of monsters. I don't bring up monsters very often when I'm playing with preschoolers unless they bring it up first. So like the monster under the bed game, things like that, I don't play unless they bring it up first. So these little prongs here, you can put any card in there. I'm just going to use this guy for an example. You can put anything you want behind the door. And then they, you could play a guessing game. You could do lots of good describing. You can work on Arctic. You can work on language. These are the kind of games I like. Functional, portable, adaptable. And it's just a sweet little mechanism just for the other side of the door. Super easy. This part comes off. The door comes off. So you're essentially looking at just a tiny little bit of storage there. And you have a great game that you can use again and again with preschool or school aged children. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that little treasure that I found. And what is steel, even if I'm just using part of it, I think it's great. So that's it for now. Please press the thumbs up to give me a like for this video if you like this video. You can comment below if you think of something that I didn't think of that you would use this game for. And please subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you very soon. Bye.